Hello everybody, so today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing a review of the Polar Tab. Um, this is the 10.1 inch OctoCore Android tablet. Um, yeah, they sent me this to review and it's kind of like something very different um, for my channel but I thought I would give it a go because everyone's looking for a tablet. Everyone has a tablet these days. I don't have a tablet. Um, my mum has an iPad and she's like just always on it like ah. you know I did have an iPad but I sold it because I didn't really use it that often um, so this is like a I guess much cheaper alternative and I'm going to do a review of it um, I've used it for about a week or so now and I think I can give you my honest opinion on it um, it is $69.99 on Amazon I will put a link in the down bar um, but yes, pull it out. We will get to the good points and the bad points um, just in a second. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the box and what you get in the box. So you've got the brand name up at the top and the website, photo of the device itself, Android, OctoCore, blah, blah, blah. Um, some of the different things you can use. Now I'm not a particularly, you know, technological person so this is going to be a everyday person's viewpoint. Um, I'm not going to bombard you with technical information that might not make sense because most of it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at a couple of these things. It's got Wi-Fi, um, dual camera, multi-touch, 16 gigabyte. Um, so you open it up and your tablet is in here, it comes in this little bag, obviously it's not here at the moment. Um, but you also get this inside as well, which is just your UK plug. Then you've got a couple of different wires um, to connect it to your computer, etc. Then you get some headphones and your user manual, which I haven't actually looked at yet because I've just jumped straight into it and you know done stuff so let's get to the tablet itself so this is what it looks like as you can see you can kind of see around my entire bedroom um with this screen that is like the first down point that i could see um is the fact that the screen is very reflective and you can kind of it makes it a little bit harder to see the screen because you can kind of see everything reflected in it. Um, so that is one down point. Um, you've got your little camera up here. On the back, it is a little bit gaudy having all this on the back. Would have preferred it if it was just blank, but you know, they've got to get their brand name out there. So these are all of the details. Um, you've got your other camera. Here you've got your on off switch. Headphones, HDMI, um, other stuff. You can put another memory card in here as well. Um, your charges on here as well. On here, you've got your volume rocker. Nothing on this side. So, I am going to boot this up and we will see how long it takes to boot up. So you can see Polar Tab. So I did do this at one point and it got stuck on this screen for quite a while, um, which was a downside, which let's hope it doesn't do this time. Nope, there we go. So that is your boot up time. Um, it's not bad, it's not speedy fast, but it is, you know, it's not enough so that you're going to think, oh god. But one time I did um, open it up, it did get stuck on that screen and I had to shut it down and restart it, just thought I would mention that. Um, so as you can see we've got 
Hello. Um, we've got this moving background, which is just like clouds, etc. So to unlock it, just do this. Um, and yeah, as you can see, you can set up your home screen exactly how you like it. Um, I've got a few things set up to show you so that you can kind of see the quality of how things work and how smooth they are. Um, I've got like a couple of games and stuff um, to test out. So up at the top you can see that we've got the Wi-Fi, the percentage of battery and the time. So at the moment we're on 41% battery so we'll see how much that goes down by during the course of this video. Um, for now let's open up Facebook and see how long it takes to load. Um, up at the top I've got loads of um, notifications coming through but then we are now on Facebook. As you can see it loads pretty quickly. Like even videos and stuff. You got Homer, someone's put that on there. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it goes smoothly. There's never any like major hiccups with it. Um, it starts playing videos and stuff as you would expect it to. Ooh, there's Ghost. Um, hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to read that. So yeah, no problems with this at all. It's really, really sensitive movement. Um, oh my god, look at all my Facebook notifications up at the top. <laughs> so yeah, Facebook, not an issue. Um, on to Twitter. So... Haven't been on this in a few days, so that is why it's um, a little bit clogged up with stuff. But, um, so yeah, we're at the top now. So, we've got NHL on here. Works smoothly. Never any problems. Loads up really nicely as well. So, yeah, it's quite easy to use. You can either use it this way or you can turn it this way if it wants to do it. So then you've got a longer screen, so you can see more stuff. Um, so yeah, that is Twitter. Let's have a look at YouTube. So you can search for different things. I've got a certain search on here that um, I love because it's my favourite hockey player who's just retired. But I'm going to show you the quality of play. You can make it big. So obviously you get adverts, is a little bit slow, um, sometimes it can freeze a little bit. Um, turn up the volume because I have it turned completely down. It is a little bit tinny. So yeah, there's an advert. but. You see, it paused once, but then it played the whole thing the whole way through. Um, so yeah, this is my favourite hockey play. But listen to the tinny. It's quite tinny. So there you go, that is, um, it played that the whole way through, it didn't have any pauses or anything, um, so play, playing was smooth, it's in sync, um, yeah, YouTube, no problems with that whatsoever, you've got all these other videos that you can look at on the side, um, so yeah, let's come out of that. Um, other things, the one thing that I really don't like about this tablet is the camera. 
the camera is really bad. Um, the quality, just, no, it's not good. Um, and the playback feature, it freezes, which is a downside. Um, I'm going to record something on it now and I'm going to try and insert it in the video so you can see the quality of it. Okay, so here is my video recording. Um, in general, it's not that great. So let me just take a video. Okay, so let's see if that freezes because every other time they've recorded a video, it froze. Um, use video player. See, it freezes. The sound's still going, but the thing freezes. So if you are recording video on this it will do that or mine has I don't know if it's the same for all of them but that is an issue that I've had um, so yeah that is the downside I definitely wouldn't use this for the camera or video um, work at all because it's it's just not good but aside from that I think that it is it's actually really good um, if you're just using it for the internet, um, everything loads up really quickly, the internet's really fast. Um, everything apart from the camera and the sound, I think, is really good. Oh yeah, I was going to show you some games, wasn't I? So, let's play Minion Dash. Is it Minion Dash? I can't remember if it's called Minion Dash or just Minions now. But, um, let's see how long it takes to load it up. So, there we go. A little bit jittery in places, as you can see, but... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, not now. Um, yeah. So, once it's kind of caught up with itself, it is fine and it works exactly the same as any other tablet. But let's play and see um, what the quality is like. So... Nope, I'm rubbish at this game. I should have ducked. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I can't really see what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, works nicely. So, yeah, there's that. And then I also downloaded um, WWE Immortals um, because it's quite a hefty game. Like, it's got a load of graphics in it, so I thought... If anything is going to give it trouble, it is going to be that game because it's like, I think it's a gigabyte um, in size. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are. It downloaded a little update for it, but we're on it now. So, let's take a look. So, I'm just leaving it on so you can see the loading time of quite a heavy duty game. Um... that long a little bit longer than probably it would be on an iPad but you know you expect it with a game that is this heavy duty it is a big game so WWE Immortals yeah we don't want to listen to that but 
as you could heard it loaded that perfectly um, so let's just play let's just go with wherever brawl let's just go for it okay so here we go I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't actually played it, but... Oh! Mm, that's not good. So yeah, you can press this if you want other people to come in. As you can see, really fluid. But yeah, anyway, as you can see, this is quite a good tablet for the money. Um, the size as well, because it is a 10.1 inch, it is quite hefty, which does mean that it is a little bit heavier than, say, an iPad mini or whatever. But yeah, the quality um, is really good, apart from if you're using the cameras. The cameras are really, really bad. I don't really like the garish branding and stuff on the back. But for what it is and the money that you're paying for it, I think it is well worth the money because, you know, if you're getting one of these for like a kid for Christmas or their birthday or whatever, um, I think it's easy enough for them to use. It will take all of the like games and stuff that they want to play on it. Um, just don't use the cameras. There's, that is the Polar Tab 10.1 inch OctoCore Android tablet. So yeah. That's it. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Adios.